are you born again? Satan. So you have upgraded. You now use my image to ask me irrelevant questions. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, Satan. Get thee behind me. Are you born again? He that speaketh in an unknown tongues, speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him, how be it in the spirit, he speaketh mysteries. I speak the language of the sons of Zion. Are you born again? <laughs> I asked for a car, God gave me two in less than a week. I ask for a house, he gave me a mansion. When I pray, God answers me speedily. Glory to God. Are you born again? I am a man of God. I hear from God clearly. I am an apostle to the youth. I have sons and daughters in the faith. I have mentees. I have been in the ministry for over 10 years. My spiritual father is Papa. He is the general overseer of the largest church auditorium in Africa. I am a kingdom builder. I sow seeds into small land ministries. I feed the poor. I take care of the needy. Are you born again? Ah! No demon can operate where I minister. I drink poison. I step on viper and I walk away unarmed. I have dined with the likes of Oroko, Arome, Salman, Jerry Eze, and many more. Radia Gassiata, I carry the apostolic grace in my bones. I have covered the Bible back to back ten times over. The lame walk, the blind see. I literally suspend the atmosphere. I am God among men. Are you born again? Are you born again? Are you born again? If God did not give you a wife, if God did not bless you with children, will you still stand with Jesus? If the people you prayed for did not appreciate you with material things, would you still preach the gospel? If there was no results after 10 years in ministry, would you still stand for Jesus? Not everyone that saith to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 7, 21. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? And in thy name has cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I will say unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. There are many Christians in the world, but few believers. A lot of people come to church to save their marriages, to save their children, to save their businesses, to save their careers, to save their family. But many souls are not saved. It is written, Third John verse 2, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Do the souls of believers still prosper? Do they value the prosperity of their souls than the prosperity of their businesses? Ask them if their souls have been saved. Ask them if their souls have been saved. Ask them. Tell them that I love them and I gave my life for them on the cross. And if this is not the reason why they come to worship, then they do not know me yet. It is written, Philippians 3.10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering, the fellowship of his suffering, the fellowship of his suffering. They do not come to fellowship because of the suffering on the cross, then they do not know me. Tell them that if they only come to me because of the things that they can get, then they do not know me. Tell the church that fellowship with the Spirit is beyond material things. Tell the church that fellowship with God is beyond cars, 
is beyond houses, is beyond businesses, is beyond marriages, is beyond career, is beyond peace and comfort on earth. Tell them that it is beyond that. I called you so that you can share in my suffering. I called you so that you can share in my suffering. I called you so that you can share in my suffering. I called you so that you can share in my suffering. I called you to the fellowship of love. Are you born again? Are you born again? Are you born again? Are you born again?